to the channel and i hope you guys are doing absolutely fine this lab is just recently updated so here is a new solution for the lab so first of all just log in your credentials and once done with that in the description box of this video i will share one github link just click on that link then you are able to access this file over here just me scroll down open this url in incognito window it will activate your cloud shell meanwhile just me come back over here and from here you can see this curl command this will download this github repo from my github to your cloud shell then we have to make this file executable for that we have to just merely run this chmod command and for executing all the command we have to just merely run this last command over here so just merely copy all this command come back paste and hit enter over here now just merely wait for to this command get executed and once it's done we are done with the 80% of the lab so just merely wait and watch and it's finally done now here you can see both this url so just me open both the url in new tab like this way now just me come back over here click on this get started over here now for the application name just me come back over here click on the task number 1 scroll down little bit and from here you will get the application name this is the name so just me copy this do not copy the last full stop now just me paste over here like this way then copy over here and just me select your student id click on this next from here just me choose internal and then click on this next now for the email address just me copy this username and paste over here like this way click on this next click on this check box click on continue and create so it's done now just me come back to this tab just me select your project id Now just me click on this enable API over here. It will take a couple of seconds, so just me wait. Now just me click on this go to identity. Now just me click on the check box and then just me turn on this toggle over here. Then just me click on this turn on button. Okay. Now just me wait. Okay, now just me click on this add principal over here. Now for the new principal, just me copy this username and paste over here like this way. Okay, now for the role, just me scroll down over here and from here you will get a role. So you can see this is a role. So just me copy this role, come back and just me select over here like this way. Click on the save and it's done. Now if you just me come back over here and click on the check my progress for each and every task. you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated for any particular task no need to worry just me wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score over here for sure so just me wait and watch and as you can see is done and in this way we have to complete this live if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys